Okay, Project J, Math 122. Again, the expectation at this point, you know how to create a Jupyter Notebook and open a terminal application to run uh, Sage by the, uh, at, the at, at what's called the Unix prompt, all right, in a, in a particular shell. So this one over here is about uh, graphing. And so I'm looking at it, and the graph over here that I'm showing it here in the background was constructed with uh, an application called Grapher. Great application, really does a nice job graphing. This would be rather tedious to do by hand. What I want to do is I want to, you know, I go back and forth sometimes to, you know, typing and copy pasting and just simply talking through code. But reset clean sheet of paper. I'm going to say T is a variable. Yes, you need to define your variables before you use it. The sole exception is X. In uh, Sage, X is a variable. But again, I defined it anyway. Parametric. Now again, you're going to forget sometimes, and you might just simply know the first few letters of a command. Hit the tab button. And when I do that, what do I see? Well, I'm starting to see it. I see paramet uh, parametric plot. So what I'm going to do now, I just typed it in, parentheses. By the way, if I don't know how to use it, question mark, return. And it gives me the help page. I'm going to use the Q button because I think I know how to use it. All right? So let me um, parametric plot, parentheses. And what am I going to plot? I'm going to plot an ordered pair. Let me go back over here. This is my ordered pair. So the first uh, pair in the other pair is the x value, and that's going to be e raised to the power t times parentheses cosine parentheses 5 star t parentheses parentheses squared. That is the x coordinate, comma, the y coordinate. Let's type this in e to the t star parentheses sine parentheses. 5 star t, parentheses, parentheses, I'm going to square it, and that's my xy pair, all right? Now, by the way, I want the t's to go between 0 and pi. Why do I say that? I'm seeing that right over here. And again, you can play around with this if you want. So I want the t to go between 0 and pi. Now, I, I certainly observed enough people typing things in, and people make mistakes. All right. So if they make a mistake, what's going to happen is it's not going to it's not going to work. But you know what? I see it now. I see the same picture I'm seeing over there. Now you might say to yourself, I want to play around with this, and what I want to do instead I want instead of doing pi, I want to do the number one. Let's see what happens, and you're going to get a different graph over there. And I think you're getting an impression of what I'm doing over here. I'm just changing the values of t. Let's say I want the two pi, two star pi. And again, this is playing with software, and that's a great way to learn software. I'm getting that picture over there, all right? Now, again, I'll do something outrageous. I'll do 20 pi now. You know what? Not much of a change is there, all right? And you may wonder why that is. But let's take a look at our pictures. Go backwards. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to 2 pi, or 1 pi. And now I'm going to go to 2 pi. I'm going to look at these guys. And you know what? I'm seeing it. I'm seeing the change in scale over here. I hope you realize that. Right? I'm seeing a change in scale. Again, this was when I did you know, 1 pi. This is 2 pi. And again, I'm just playing around. 3 pi. Yep, I'm getting 12,000 now. I think you get an idea what we're doing. We're just changing scale. And what I mean by scale, we're changing the, the parameter t uh, from 0 to 3 pi, and it's plotting the xy coordinates. But the graph looks remarkably similar each time I do it. All right. I think some of the reason for that, what we're not seeing, is what's happening over here, how busy it's becoming over here near the origin. We're just not seeing it when we zoom out. All right. So I'm going to say there's not much else to say about that, but again, please play around with software. See how it relates to what you're doing. Software speeds the process up of learning a great deal. If I had to do this by hand, I'll be honest with you, it would be really painful for me, really painful. All right, thank you so much for paying attention. I do appreciate it.